I have an official announcement to make. A lot of people know me from the Bernie Sanders trap anthem campaigning for Bernie. Of course, I made a hit record for Bernie Sanders. The Bernie Sanders trap anthem. Millions of plays, millions of views, you know, it's a hit song. All I do is make hits, whether it's videos or, or music, but I'm completely done with Bernie Sanders and I'm going to explain why to progressives, to Bernie Sanders supporters. I would love if you listen to me instead of yelling at me saying, all Trump does is lie, blah, 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 blah. Okay, relax. You sound like CNN. You sound like Washington Post. You sound like Bernie Sanders. Relax, okay? Relax before you start just yelling. Oh my, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we get it. How much more obvious could it get that Bernie Sanders is an establishment shill? Let's start with the very obvious. He keeps parroting this Russia narrative. Russia, 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 Russia. Come on, all these Bernie Sanders supporters and progressives, you know, and everybody will soon know, it's going to be public knowledge, that Seth Rich was the leaker of the DNC emails that had nothing, nothing, nothing to do with Russia, nothing. It had nothing to do with Russia. Bernie Sanders supporters know that. Progressives know that, but somehow they give Bernie Sanders the pass. Like, well, you know, I'm just going to let him lie to me because I've, you know, whatever. He goes on TV the other day and he said this multiple times, praising, praising George Bush. George Bush was great. Meanwhile, people in the military that were there during George Bush's reign said these seven wars that we're in right now, they were planned. They've been planned since George Bush. Bernie Sanders doesn't care. George Bush is great. That's a, a, a Republican. It's not even a someone like a Donald Trump who's different. He's not a politician. I'm, I don't even want to get into that, but George Bush. Bernie Sanders is a big fan, but nothing weird about that. Nothing weird about that. He goes on tour with Tom Press of the DNC. Nothing weird about that. Nobody noticed the shift. And it's coming. Bernie Sanders supporters and progressives, trust me, I, I, I'm reading between the lines. It's coming. If you keep just believing his lies, he tweeted recently, you know, Donald Trump lies all the time and that's unusual for a president. First of all, every president lies. Every president lies. There's compilation videos of Barack Obama lying 20 times. They're, they're all over YouTube. He lied about a lot of things. He was just very smooth, very smart, very funny, very cool. And second of all, Donald Trump doesn't lie all the time. To say he lies all the time would be a lie. I've heard him say many real things, like he talked about Iraq, Libya, and he also talked about everybody laughed at him on mainstream media when he said Obama created ISIS. They were like, what the heck? How crazy of a statement is that? Um, hello? Everybody knows now that the United States has been funding terrorism and there's been a rift where we're funding both sides of the wars google wikileaks released this month google's helping al-qaeda google that google google helping al-qaeda but no bernie but Tr trump never tells the truth about anything because god forbid bernie took he didn't trump shut down the tpp didn't i think bernie sanders that was a big part that was a big cornerstone of, of his campaign when i was supporting him he wanted to shut down the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Trump did that. Trump did what Bernie would have done, but no, no, no. Bernie says Trump lies all the time because Bernie Sanders wants to make government bigger. And that's the big irony of that whole movement. It's like government's corrupt, the establishment's crazy, but let's give them more of our power and more of our taxes because that makes sense. And they're coming for progressives, progressives, Bernie Sanders supporters. If you don't smarten up, you're going to get completely manipulated because Right now, Media Matters, a company funded by David Brock, 
who attacks all conservative and alt right, right right wing to call everybody racist, neo Nazi, like people like Mike Cernovich, who I literally never even hear him talk about race. He has a Persian wife and a mixed baby, but of course he's racist because everybody who doesn't agree with with the neo Nazi fascist alt left or whatever is now just a racist. But anyway, media matters. They consider themselves a progressive watchdog. This is the future of your movement, whether you like it or not. There's massive funding going into it. Hillary Clinton recently, she's pouring money into anti-Trump stuff. She's pouring money, pretending to be a progressive. Media Matters, David Brock, John Podesta, do the math. It's all there. George Soros funded Media Matters. This is who they have fueling. Elizabeth Warren now says, oh yeah, I, I like single-payer health care. Okay, yeah, I'm progressive. Yeah, Hillary's progressive. George Soros is progressive. David Brock's progressive. John Podesta's progressive. Yet yeah, Bernie Sanders, it's, it's a total, they're using you. Bernie Sanders, okay, he went out there. He got everybody's emotions. Now everybody's so emotional towards the man. He's, he's such a great guy. I printed these shirts. Trust me, I know. I love the man, okay? I loved him. But reality is reality. If he's going to lie to my face, if if somebody I don't like says, don't drink water, well, why? I'm, ma I'm made of water. I need water to survive. Well, no, no, no. Bernie Sanders said don't drink water, so I'm not, I'm not going to drink water now. That's essentially what these Bernie Sanders supporters are doing because, one, he's not talking about the DNC lawsuit. This is a lawsuit of his supporters going against the most rigged part of the election. It's the most rigged part of the election. It is. Super delegates, 400 to 600 of them. Oh, you won? No, 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 no. There's super delegates who decide. The media decides. You don't decide. The media will tell you how to think. And then even if you think outside of how the media tells you to, oh, okay, you want to vote for Bernie Sanders? Well, 99% of the media just blasting him, blasting him, blasting him, blasting him, blasting him. Even if you decide, if you blast through all of the propaganda and vote for the man, he still can't win because of superdelegates and because they're rigging it even further. It's not enough for them to just rig everything. They got to rig everything and then rig even more somehow. But Bernie's not saying a word. He's not saying a word about it. And it's not a coincidence. You gave him a month. I gave him two, three, four, five months after the election. I, I didn't hop off board. I wasn't like, oh, F this man. I gave him a chance. I saw that he was shilling for Hillary Clinton, and I said, that's fine. Maybe she's the lesser of two evils. I'll consider it. I, I mean, yeah, Donald Trump's a big, scary man. I get it. I thought the same thing. But it's been a year. Like, I don't, how many hurdles are people going to jump through to hide what's going on? Well, Trump lies all the time. He's right. Trump lies 100% of the time. How stupid could you be? Saying he lies 100% of the time. If he lied 100% of the time, the media would be singing his praises. Is he wrong about a lot of things? Absolutely. And I wish we could talk about them. I wish we could talk about how to protect the environment. I wish we could talk about how to stop jailing so many of our citizens and make the streets safer. I wish we could talk about the war on drugs and the fact that marijuana is... is classified completely incorrectly. I wish we could talk about prescription pills and how they're destroying America. I wish we could talk about all of these things. I wish we could talk about the refugee crisis. I wish we could talk about illegal immigration, but there's no debate. It's what Donald Trump says, which in a lot of, in my opinion, is not well-spoken enough to really get these people on board, but it's that or nothing. Bernie Sanders is saying nothing. Hillary Clinton's saying nothing. They're saying, Oh, we need to protect the border for refugees. This is what Donald Trump says. We need to protect the border and we need to watch, make sure refugees aren't terrorists. And here's what Hillary Clinton and Bernie saying. We're all refugees. We're all immigrants. Just let everybody in. Yeah, okay. That's a great idea. Just ignore the Mexican cartels. Ignore the fact that it was published recently that Mexico is the second most dangerous country. Ignore the fact that we have laws and, and all these things. Just ignore all of them. And I'm not saying I think people that are here illegally should be you know, assimilate it more into culture, be able to legalize and pay taxes and be, a, a, you know, an American just like everybody else. I'm not saying send anybody home, but are we going to pretend like we have no rules? Like, oh, yeah, there's no wars. I think racism and sexism is bad. This is what Bernie Sanders says. Do you hear him talk about the wars? 
Do you ever hear him say, oh, I give Donald Trump credit for exposing ISIS and exposing Al-Qaeda and exposing the fact that we've been funding them like Tulsi Gabbard? Because Bernie doesn't give a shit. He doesn't talk about any of that. He's talked about the Russia conspiracy 10,000 times and everybody knows that it's Seth Rich. Bernie's going to look like an effing fool because it's impossible to stop it. It's not going to be me. It's too late. Too many people know about it. WikiLeaks knows about it. Kim.com seems like he has evidence. He's been in with WikiLeaks for a few years, just like being an internet activist. He knows. Guccifer 2.0 knows. He, he leaked his, his DM that confirmed that he knows it's, it's Seth Rich. It's not Russia. How, how are you going to let Bernie Sanders... Well, uh, I'm going to believe Bernie Sanders because, well, you know, Trump lies. All, okay, they've brainwashed you. Trump lies, absolutely. I, there's a lot of things that piss me off about Trump. I'll see I'll be like, what a dickhead. But he doesn't lie all the time. If he lied all the time, they would love him. Bernie Sanders would love Trump if he lied all the time, if he was for socialism and bigger government. But he's not. He's for a smaller government. So Bernie doesn't like that. Bernie is... Wants more socialism. And the socialist, so democratic socialism movement, whatever you want to call it, I supported it. I'm not, I don't not get it. I get it. But this is the future of it, whether you like it or not. It's David Brock for Media Matters. It's Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton pretending to be progressives. It's Bernie Sanders pretending to be an honest person when he's clearly not. He has personal interests. His wife's being investigated by the FBI, but... You can't tell that to Bernie Sanders supporters because anything Bernie Sanders, they'll make an excuse for anything. Bernie doesn't like water. I don't like water anymore. Bernie says, you know, uh, it's bad in Hawaii and not to visit. I'm not going to vacation there. It's the truth. I've seen it happen when I was campaigning. That was my biggest fear is that people weren't going to pay attention. And it's happening. He didn't even win. And it's still happening. I knew this would happen because I was like, I like, even in the debates, I would realize like, I think Bernie Sanders did better in the debates than Hillary Clinton, but did I think he crushed her? No, he didn't. He was pretty weak in the debates, and I loved Bernie Sanders, but I could tell the difference between someone who really won and someone who really didn't. And I was just like, you know, he did, but all the Bernie Sanders supporters were like, oh my God, he crushed her. It's like anything this guy does. I saw him debate Ted Cruz on healthcare, and I don't even agree with Ted Cruz. I don't like Ted Cruz at all. But he impressed me more than Bernie Sanders because I don't even agree with his policy, but at least he had one. Bernie had nothing. All he said was, everyone's going to die. Everyone's going to die if we don't do single payer. He had no logic, no facts, no proof, no, no substance. That, and that's what they do. And it got, I'm telling you, it got, I understand because the government is corrupt. It is a pyramid scheme where the top makes all the money. Everything that Bernie Sanders says is right, 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 right. That's why I agree with him. He's right. It is that way. It is that way. It is that way. But that doesn't mean that his version of socialism is going to make it better. Oh, yeah, the government's really, really, really corrupt. So give me more power and we're going to make government bigger. How does that make sense? I'll make government bigger once government gets better. But there's no signs of it getting better. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, whoever. There's no signs of the, the swamp being drained completely anytime soon. And he keeps lying. I think he's an establishment shill. If not, he's completely dishonest and just... Or he's been threatened. Or he's been controlled. Or he signed a contract. I don't know what it is. But Bernie at this point is going to go down with them when the Seth Rich stuff comes out. Because... It's obvious. I mean, look at what this man says. He's on 100% Trump bash. He won't tell you about the good things that Trump does. He won't tell you about the honest. One of the realest things I've ever seen any president say is when Bill O'Reilly was with Trump and he said, why do you respect Putin? Trump said, I respect a lot of people. I'll try to get along with the guy. If I don't, I'll be tough on him. And then Bill O'Reilly said, well, he's a killer. And Trump says, there's a lot of killers. You think America's so innocent? When has a president ever said something like that? Oh, America's not so innocent? What if presidents in the past told you, oh no, America's perfect, everything America does is right, 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 war, 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 war. That's all they want, war. But according to Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump lies 100% of the time and no other president has done that. It's a joke. I don't care if you like Donald Trump, you should 
dislike a lot of things he does. And I wish we could talk about these things because I feel the same way. I don't love everything Donald Trump does. I don't love all of his policies. I think a lot of his ideologies straight up won't get the results that he wants to get. I know they won't. But right now, there's two games being played. It's Donald Trump, the person who got elected to the presidency, and Hillary Clinton, David Brock, Bernie Sanders, CNN, Washington Post, New York Times, just in an all-out assault to just get rid of him. And I'm sorry, but it's not so they can help you. It's not so they can help poor and middle-class people. It's just not. They don't care about you. How many times do Democrats have to play these stupid games before you realize they don't care about you? If Bernie Sanders won't talk about the DNC lawsuit, he doesn't care about you. If Bernie Sanders won't talk about Seth Rich, he doesn't care about you. I'm sorry, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about you. No matter how much you think he cares about you, he doesn't care about you. The DNC lawsuit, it would expose two things. One, the most rigged part of the election the Democratic National Committee and all the things they did to him and his supporters who donated $180 million and sacrificed their life and a large portion of their time to help this man. And he hasn't said one word about it. What type of coward? Oh, well, he's I don't care. A lot of people are threatened. Mike Cernovich is threatened. He's not stopping it. I don't feel comfortable talking about certain things, but I don't change tune. I might not say some things sometimes, but I don't go in the opposite direction and start saying the complete opposite just because I feel threatened. You think Donald Trump doesn't feel threatened? You think H.A. Goodman doesn't feel threatened? Tim Black doesn't feel threatened? Abby, uh, whatever her name is, Martin? But we're not cowards. That's the difference. Bernie's a coward. I'm sorry, he's a coward. He's a lying coward. And it couldn't be more obvious. He doesn't even stand up for his own supporters. They don't, we don't, we, I'm going to say we, I'm part of it. 180 million, six months of my time. He didn't make me do it, but I didn't feel like doing anything else. So I was involved in the election because I saw all the stuff that was going on. And he won't even talk about it. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that the election is rigged. He talks about voter fraud, doesn't it? How many times, think about what a effing fraud this man is. How many times is he going to say voter fraud doesn't exist? Okay, that's fine. Voter fraud doesn't exist. Explain why I get you. Well, how many times has he said that? Like 50? How many times has he said about the DNC and, and superdelegates and how the whole system is rigged? It's the most rigged part of the system. He'll tell you that voter fraud doesn't exist, but he won't talk about what does exist, the frauds that do exist, because he's a fraud. He would have to tell you he's a fraud. Voter fraud doesn't exist. Voter fraud doesn't exist. Voter fraud doesn't exist. Russia doesn't exist. Russia, Russia, Russia. I like George Bush. Russia, Russia, Russia. I like Tom Perez. Russia, Russia. I'm on tour with the DNC. Russia. The man is a fucking fraud. What else can he do? He bash your head into the wall and be like, "Thank you, Bernie. Sa Thank you, sir, Bernie Sanders. I needed a gash on my head. Thank you, Bernie. I needed that. Ow. What do you have to say about that, Bernie? Just smash your head into the wall." Trump lies, ow! Oh. Trump lies all the time, ah, oh, 100% of the time Trump lies. Thank you, Sir Bernie Sanders. That's what's happening. I can't, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this stuff. I don't wanna say this stuff. I don't, I don't wanna be here right now. I never wanted to be here. I didn't ask to be here. I wanted to see President Bernie Sanders at a certain time. But I just can't ignore reality. Like if, if Donald Trump comes out tomorrow and starts saying, um, you know what, the, the government's perfect and there's nothing and New York Times and Washington Post are great publications and you know everything, the media is perfect, um, there's no such thing as terrorism, I'm not going to blindly follow him. I don't even blindly follow him now. The only reason I do this is because everybody's so dishonest. I don't do this because... I'm like begging for all these things he's doing. I'm doing it because the scale, scale is tilted this way. They're, they're lit it's not a matter of opinion. Hillary Clinton announced recently she's funding propaganda. That's what that a, a progressive super pop that, that Bernie and Elizabeth Warren are supporting. 
It's just, they're just pouring all the re... She already lost $1.2 billion losing this election. She lost more money than anyone ever. And they're still spending more money. That's how pathetic these people are. Now they're funding more money. George Soros is funding more money. Bernie Sanders is putting all his resources, all the resources he earned by being an honest, trustworthy person. He earned that. He got everybody's attention and respect, and that is worth more than all of the money they're spending. And what does he do with all that respect and integrity and love and truth that Bernie? He's using it for them, for their agenda. The anti-Russia, the Russia, 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 George Bush. He's a phone. He's disgusting that he's doing that. And that's where all the efforts are. It's Bernie Sanders trying to get him, get rid of him. And it's not it's not to get someone in that's more progressive. It's Mike Pence. How how many times do we have to talk about this? If Donald Trump leaves, it's going to get more conservative. It's going to get more Christian. It's going to get more Republican. It's Mike Pence. But then they're going to try to get Mike Pence out. And they're not going to stop until it's pure socialism or pure corruption. I don't like a lot of things Donald Trump does, but I see what the DNC is doing. I see what Hillary Clinton has done. And I see how they're acting now, more importantly. And now I don't think, I know that they're the greater of two evils based on how they're acting, even with Bernie's help. I can clearly see, during the election, I didn't vote for Donald Trump. I voted for Jill Stein just to throw it out there. I knew California didn't matter anyway, but it's like, I can't, I'm disgusted by both of these candidates. I'm not a Donald Trump shill. I was disgusted by both of them. But at a certain point, I know now that Donald Trump is the lesser of two evils because I see how they're acting. I see how Bernie Sanders is acting. I see how the progressive media is acting. I see how Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren media matters. They're gonna try to take over. They're not gonna try, they are. They're going to take over the progressive movement and all of the smart progressives that realize their BS, they're not gonna be progressives anymore because the progressive agenda doesn't make that much sense. There's no basis to it. It's just like single payer healthcare, free college, and that's it. There's no, there's no more, mm. all the people that get it, like H.A. Goodman and Tim Black, they're shifting away from the other progressives because they get it. They can call themselves progressives, but they're just free thinkers. And these are the things that Bernie Sanders is doing. So much love. I just move by move by move by move by move. I can't stay silent about it anymore. The man is a phony. I don't know how many lies he has to tweet. I don't know how many fake Russia. He doesn't want people to know about Seth Rich because if Seth Rich gets exposed, Bernie Sanders is going to go down with them because he's part of them. If he wasn't, he would talk about the DNC lawsuit. He would talk about his supporters. He would talk about the Democratic National Committee and the Democratic primary. He would talk about the Trans-Pacific Partnership and talk about trade deals and Make sure that Donald Trump, there's reports that he's making a new trade deal that could be just as bad as NAFTA and TPP, which people should be talking about. Is anyone talking about it? Of course not, because people like Bernie Sanders have them wrapped up on this Russia stuff. It's a giant circus. And Bernie's the new ringleader. Russia. Russia did it. Yeah, right. it was Russia, Russia, Russia. Bernie doesn't want you to know about Seth Rich. Bernie hasn't said a word about Seth Rich. It's not suspicious to him. He hasn't said a word about the DNC lawsuit. The most rigged part of the election. It's the most rigged part of it. It's got super delegates. They got the media. They got everything. And if they, they, they still couldn't win. They had everything. And they still couldn't beat them. So they had to cheat more. They already cheated every way. And that's what the Democratic Party and the DNC is. And that's why right now, I do support the president of the United States because one, he's the president. And let's see, hmm, what do I want? The president who got elected and, you know, is the actual president or this insane, corrupt, disgusting cartel of people that lie, cheat, and steal, own the media, lie to everybody on the media, buy everything, still can't win, then throw a fit and try to kill people and retake the power. Hmm. Real hard choice. All these Bernie Sanders support. Trump lies 100. Just shut up. Stop drinking the Bernie Sanders Kool-Aid. And look at reality. Who do you want? Donald Trump? 
who's in office, who's saying some things, who's finessing a situation in the Middle East, who's not starting war like Hillary Clinton would have, who's really not doing that bad of a job, or the people who lost, who are now putting all their money into the, all their power, and people are dying left and right anytime they oppose them. Hmm. Hard choice. Who, hmm. And I'm not even getting into the other disgusting things that they're doing, because I'm not trying to get attacked by them. I see what they do to people, both in life and financially and you know, legally. It's a gang. It's a cartel. It's the most corrupt organization probably in the entire world. And Bernie Sanders is convincing you to join that side. You don't know you're joining it. Well, I, no, I don't like them, but I like Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is them. Or else he'd be talking about the DNC lawsuit. Or else he'd be talking about Seth Rich. He's not. He doesn't care. He wants you to think Russia... Russia hacked the election, right. Russia hacked the Vermont utility grid. But, wait, no they didn't. That was a fake story. Oh, no, no, they, they leaked r Russian classified information. No, 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 it didn't. Well, no, no, the Washington Post reported this. The New York Times reported this. U.S. officials alleged. The intelligence communities said that they did, but then they say that they didn't. He's playing along. And if you support Bernie Sanders, I see some people in, in the comments, that's fine. You like being lied to. That's, I mean, you have the right as an American. You can be lied to. You can be cheated. You can have your money stolen. L let Bernie Sanders tell you that, that there's no voter fraud and that, that, that the DSC isn't you know, a rigged system, because it is. Let him tell you it's not, though. That's fine. You have the right to believe that. Let him tell you that Russia hacked the election. That's fine. Let him tell you that everything is, is racist and sexist and the only way to stop it isn't with free market anything, it's not with rights, it's not with freedom, it's by going on tour with Tom Perez, and it's by giving the government more power. The government's corrupt, but feel free to follow Bernie Sanders because he'll, he'll make the government bigger. And I'm sure he'll employ a lot of people in the DNC and into his establishment. So feel free to, to you know, follow Bernie Sanders, feel free. Donald Trump lies 100% of the time and no president's ever lied like that. You could believe that. You could follow Bernie Sanders. It's, I, a lot of people do. You know they're very tied in. They have their emotions tied in. They, they trust the man. He gained their trust. So now any lie that he does, they'll make an excuse for it. Well, you know, he's probably just threatened. Okay, so if somebody threatened tells me, don't drink water, I'm not going to drink, I'm not going to not drink water just because they were threatened. Even if he was threatened, that's fine doesn't mean you have to follow his lies. You can. You can follow his lies. You can help George Soros, Hillary Clinton, Elizabeth Warren, David Brock, Bernie Sanders. You can let them destroy America. You can let them lie about the refugee situation. You can let them not have a solution for illegal immigration. You can let them, uh, you know, you can let them do everything. You can give them more power. You can give them more of your money. You can give them more of your taxes. That's fine. I'm sure that's going to solve. You can play along with him and the Clinton cartel and pretend like dead bodies aren't popping up left and right, that's fine. We can pretend that David Brock and John Podesta, you know, aren't doing undercover shady things. That's fine. We can play this game. Bernie plays that game. Bernie hasn't said a word about any of that. He plays it. I mean, he blames Russia. He talks about how good George Bush was. Bernie doesn't talk about the war in the Middle East. He doesn't talk about Syria. All he does is identity politics. Oh my God. We gotta help the refugees. We gotta help the immigrants. That's fine. I wanna help the refugees. I wanna help the immigrants, but do you have a solution? Are you, are you telling the full story? Bernie never tells the full story. He doesn't talk about the Middle East. He doesn't talk about all the information coming out about who, who's funding Al-Qaeda and ISIS and what's really going on in the Middle East and what's going on between the United States and Russia and the fact that it's all over oil. He doesn't talk about that. He doesn't talk about the central banks. He doesn't talk about what really happens. He doesn't talk about the Rothschilds. He doesn't talk about the Rockefellers. He doesn't talk about globalism and the fact that all of these presidents all over the world are being elected and there's factual evidence that the United States under Barack Obama spied on Angela Merkel. Bernie Sanders doesn't talk to you about all of the increased grenades attack in Sweden. He'll only talk about the schools in Sweden. That's fine. They have great schools. They have green energy. But if you're not talking about all of the recent rapes and the fact that there's like 
50 grenade attacks as opposed to zero grenade attacks. And Sweden's the size of California. That's normal. That he doesn't care. He'll tell you about how great Germany is, but he won't tell you the fact that it's mandatory to send your kids to school and indoctrinate them. And if you try to homeschool your kids, you get arrested. Bernie won't tell you that because he's a communist socialist. He's a, a fraud. I'm sorry. Sweden's great. I'm not knocking the country. I'm sure it's incredible. But if you're only constantly telling one side of the story, that's what Bernie does. He plays on your emotions. Okay. Refugees, this, that. That's fine. We need to help people. But Bernie's strategy is lie about everything, gain people's trust, and apparently use it to fuel the Democratic Party. And people have been making excuses for Bernie for a while, but Bernie Sanders is the glue. Bernie is the glue holding the Democratic Party to get together. Bernie is the glue holding the mainstream media together now. Bernie Sanders is the glue holding the Democratic National Committee together. Bernie Sanders is the glue holding this Russia conspiracy together. That's why I'm saying this. Bernie's the glue. He's holding it all together. Bernie has a lot of supporters. He's the most popular politician in the world, in the, in the, in the US. And what's he doing with it? He's doing nothing good with it. Nothing. He's using all his power, all that he earned, to lead people right back into the hands of the most corrupt people in the world. He's, he's doing that. And when it's all said and done, he's going to be remembered as one of the biggest rats in United States his, history. Mark my words. Bernie Sanders will be remembered as one of the biggest frauds and the biggest rats because he took people's souls. He took people's hearts. He took people's good intentions. He took people's time. He took people's money. He took people's trust. He took people's integrity. And he used all of that to funnel people back to the Democratic Party and the Democratic National Committee. History will not forget.